I remember the first time I saw a rhino is when I was in primary school. And it's out of that time that I said I must at one time work for the rhinos. Kenya had in 1970, over 20,000 rhinos, almost a third of the African population of black rhinos was in Kenya. The population less than 18 years went down to less than 400. That is one of the most dramatic declines of any large mammal we have seen in the last century. If we lose this species, it means we are losing our heritage. And we therefore, as Kenyans, must come together and conserve the black rhinos that we have been given. We like to start very early in the morning. Once the setting has been done, the helicopter pilot with one of the spotters take off. The bed gets ready to do the dirty. Once it's down, the ground team can come to close the animal. The ear notching, we put a unique pattern on the two ears. That helps us to individually identify the rhinos. From that information, we can assess how well each rhino population is doing, not just in Mara, but in all the other populations in Kenya. The microchip, just to make sure that we know each individual animal, because of the low numbers that we have, especially in Kenya, and also in the world. Doing this microchipping, I can see it, it will help very much when a horn is uh, taken, can be traced back to the animal at the reserve, and maybe prosecution, it will be good. The procedure is quite harmless, and the implant, the, uh, the microchip itself, is very minute, does almost no weight at all. It's really a team effort. It requires a multidisciplinary kind of approach. We have the researchers, we have the vets, we have the aircraft personnel, the pilots, the technicians. The dedication of the Kenya Wildlife Service and the support organizations, they are putting enormous efforts into conserving this uh, charismatic umbrella species. And I'm, I'm fully confident that with the team and the efforts being put into conserving the rhino, it will be successful. We are calling upon WWF supporters to continue supporting WWF Kenya. Our supporters, we need you. Without you, we cannot make it.